Okay, in this video, I want to show you your options. How do you go about saving your Photoshop files? Let's do a review of the extensions associated with Photoshop. So we come to File, Save As, and what we're going to see is when we come here is we have a bunch of different options. Now, if we want the, the native Photoshop, um, you know, if we want to keep going in and editing in Photoshop, we want to preserve the layers, it would be .psd. Now, um, these images I worked on, they are, what are these images? These images that I just worked on, they're going to be, they're photographs. And so really what I want to do is I want to save them as JPEGs. But let's take a look at some of these, some of these different options we have. And I'm going to just cover a few. Uh, JPEG, JPEGs are, are great images. There's a lot of color information that's saved with JPEGs. Now we come to a PDF, probably you're familiar with PDF, and a PNG and there we have GIF, are there GIF ones here? I don't see GIF ones right here, but that's okay. Now a lot of times we're gonna do a PNG when we wanna preserve transparency around an image. If that doesn't make any sense, no problem. Um, you know, we'll cover, I'll cover that in later videos, especially as we're getting ready for the web. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually save this as a JPEG because I'm all done. I'm gonna give this a name and the name will be Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. All right, so I hit I hit save. Now you can see when you get here too is that what happens, which is really awesome too, is that your image becomes smaller. This was a low resolution image, so we can see I can change it so it's a smaller file. I can make it, and we can see that the um, size this is in kilobytes goes down. So I hit OK. There we have it. Now this image was a high resolution image. If I looked at this image, I come to image size. It was you know, 34 megabytes. Now let's see when I save as a JPEG if this goes down. So I can come File, Save As, and I'm going to name this Liam. I see this is a .psd file, okay? Again, I'm gonna change it. Now when you change it to a JPEG, the file is going to become a smaller file. So I hit JPEG, I hit Save. I get this second window, um, and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller now. I can see this has gone from 34 megabytes to 983 kilobytes. So really, you know, I want to save it as a JPEG um, just because it's a much smaller file size. Now what happens though, and you can see this, um, you lose all your layer information. So that's something to note that you lose all of your layer information. We'll do it one more time. File save as. Now you also see, let me just go over this real quickly, when you come to save you have all these options just save, if you just want to save it with the name that it already is. Um, you also have save for web and save as. Let's just take a look at save for web. Okay, and again I have a lot of other videos on going from Photoshop. Photoshop works beautifully with Dreamweaver and with all the other Adobe programs actually and when we're getting images ready to for the web um, this is a good thing to do. So let's say that I wanted to take this image and I wanted to, you know, I wanted to put it on my website. So I would click File, Save for Web, and then it looks a little bit different. We have this image right here and it gives you all of the info. And when you go to Save for Web, you have a couple options. You have a JPEG, a GIF, or a PNG. Now, again, you would do a JPEG if the image was a square or a rectangle. You would do a PNG if you wanted to preserve transparency. And again, if that doesn't make sense, keep on working in Photoshop, working for the web, and it will begin to. So I could just hit save and um, give it a name and hit save. All right, now again, one more thing with save for web, and in later videos, I'll cover this. This works beautifully when you slice images up for the web. So there we have it. We'll end there. Thanks for listening.